Walk down Main Street anywhere, you're going to see shops and stores adorned with signage and slogans that are, are, are just mere symbols, or what I call badges of ownership. But a brand of distinction, well, that's a different story altogether. Uh, I was interviewed by a newspaper reporter not too long ago, and, and he was asking that very question, and, and the conversation kind of went this way. I said, Eric, explain to me right now what kind of computer you're working on. He says, Adele. I said, great, Eric. So, so just imagine, if you will, someone walks into your office, replaces your Dell with another model. It could be a Toshiba, an Acer, an HP, a Compact, doesn't matter. As long as your files were all in order, you wouldn't really care one way or another, would you? He says, you're right. Now, what if someone walks in on an Apple user and tries to replace his Mac with any of the products I just mentioned? I mean, that person is going to wind up with a very swift kick in the cubicles from one extremely pissed off Mac fanatic. You see, badges of ownership do nothing more than distinguish one company's products and services from their competitor either across the street or across the web. From my experience, more than 95% of businesses in any category do not own a brand. What they really own is a badge of ownership. Company name, signage, logo, these are all just things that indicate ownership. A brand of distinction is a different story altogether. Brands of distinction have customers that yearn for their products and services. In extreme cases, a tribe that will wear the brand like a heart on their sleeve. Apple, BMW, the Canadiens, Dove, Geico, Harley Davidson, Kiss, Lululemon, Las Vegas, Nike, Oprah, Perrier, The Running Room, Rolex, Starbucks, WestJet, Yale, Zappos. These are brands of distinction that understand a common element. And the common element and the common difference between brands of distinction and badges of ownership is loyalty. Loyalty that is fueled by the emotional attachment a customer has for that brand. When was the last time you asked how emotional do our customers get about what we do or what we sell?